brought house in back. Yeah, I'm kind of a legend. Gail, there's a fucking party going on. Put the book down. I might even have shared a moment of magic with you. Alas, Put it away. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. The others will kill me if I keep you all to myself. Why is it everybody I talk to is like, go talk to somebody else? You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Neither did I. Right. I don't know what's going to happen here. I don't know when the save was. I don't know. <laughs> Stream title, good shout. Is there anything more interesting than the adventures of Alistair Starglow? Let's say battling the dark urge. And then throw a lot of fucking keywords in. Irish. Uh, first time playthrough? Murder. <laughs> well, I don't want to make promises I can't keep. We never know what's going to happen. Maybe everybody will be a bit more forthcoming. Is Halston in the party now? Do I keep him? He beat us. He beat us back to the place. I was like, I, I went up there to save you, pal. And he was like, I don't need blade and save and hold on, pause. I don't know if he said it in quite those words. <laughs> okay. Huh? Do we just... Another dream. Another order from that dubious visitor. It averts your eyes whenever it appears. Did you do something with your hair? Will I reload and see what... Mm. Lizelle, why are you invisible? And even if she was invisible, I'd be able to see her with my special eye. This is not how I wanted this to go. <laughs> Darling! You're alive! Another dream. Another order from that dubious visitor. It announced that we will find the answers we seek in the Absolute Cultist's lair. And offered another generous gift. You've no idea what damage it could do to us. How far into illithid madness it could drag us. But it'd make me stronger. I think the dream figure was right. Follow these cultists and we find the source of our tadpoles. Yes. The one truth that fell out of its cankered lips. There will come a battle. But it will be one with swords. Not mind games born of brain worms. Cankered lips. Um, my dream figure was beautiful, excuse you, okay? I don't want to talk anymore. I feel like we're in the middle of a fight. Will, what's up? How's the horns? Welcome to the League of the Lone Eye, my friend. Not to minimize the pain of Volo's oh, yeah. poking and prodding. But I promise, you'll be used to the prosthesis in no time. Besides... I find it gives one an air of mystique. No one's more intriguing than a man with one eye. We're like eye buddies now. Nothing interesting to say, okay? Gail, I'm not talking to you. You, you can, can fuck off. Me. Scratch, what's up? He's just perfect. Another visit from the Golden Paladin. It said we'll get the answers we need about the tadpole if we infiltrate the cult. I'm going to be dead honest. I don't remember anything about a cult, so... <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. Oh, the absolute is the call. Right, okay. Yeah. It's been a few months. Come here, what's the gossip on you and Mazora? We were both part of Zariel's inner circle. Her by choice. She favoured me like a child favours a captive pet. Mazora envied the attention, I suppose. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mazora was delighted. May the darkness protect you. Hey, the what now? You seemed intrigued when Halson mentioned Dark Justicars. Justice? Justicars? Justiciars? I was. He mentioned Dark Justiciars. Justiciars. And we've come across other signs of a Sharon presence during our travels. I'm not sure I can dismiss that as a coincidence. Do you still have the uh, artifact? I imagine she threw it away. The understatement, but yes, I have it. And I'll guard it with my life. And yet you don't know what it is. That doesn't add up. It's called faith. Duty. It doesn't have to add up to me as long as I serve. I'm part of a bigger plan. One that will be revealed in time. How can you go to all this trouble and not understand why? I told you already. I surrendered my memories for the sake of the mission. Shah's secrets must be protected. Duty demands it. Once I fulfill my mission, I can have my memories restored. 
How do you know you gave up your memories and they weren't just taken? Oakfather's blessings to you. And to you. How are you farting? Faring. Right. The celebrations with the tieflings before, I hope it didn't come over too strong. What? I didn't... Did I do something I don't remember? <laughs> My question now becomes... Where do I go from here? Oh, I'm picking between the mountain pass and the underdark. The mountain pass is where Lazelle's crash is. And she is my beautiful babe. So I think that is what we will do. Alright. May you keep balance. What are you gonna fall over? A backpack! And what is in the backpack? I hear you scream. Arrow of transposition. Teleport wherever you fire, that's fucking cool. Rosie Morn Monastery Trail. Right, gang, keep your eyes about you. Wait. These markings. Tirsu script scratched in the ground. A crash must be nested in the temple below. We must go there at once. Tirsu script. What does that mean? Give Yankee writing. Every word a wheel. Every letter is spoke. The most powerful texts are engraved in slate. Some so ancient, only the most erudite Gish can read them. Come, let's get to the crash. Well, you may lead. But if we stray too far that our chance is lost, I'll make my way there alone. Lady Esther? Seems like a good moment to talk. Ah, a friendly face. Oh, you are a sweet, sweet blessing, my dear. You know, I've had nothing but trouble all day. I've been accosted, chased, insulted. Look over there. Do you see that wretched little hive? Uh, sure. It may look like a peaceful ruined temple, but it is overrun with brutish, stupid, rude Gith Yankee. Brutish and rude by your wretched standards, but stupid, chucky. That's my old lady you're talking about. Canyon would call it a crash, but it was built on what remained after the Gith Yankee slaughtered all of the monks. I'd call it a murderous training camp. Acutely observed on both counts. Honestly, I was doing them a favor offering to buy one of their eggs. And how am I repaid? Eggs? Attacked and run off like some transient. You tried to buy one of their children. What? No, of course not. I was merely... What? Well... Look, it's just an egg. The Society of Brilliance ask me to acquire one of their row so they can incubate it and once it hatches raise the spawn in their tradition please do enlighten me what is this tradition how is that not buying a child the society believes a gith yankee raised in a peaceful nurturing environment can overcome its violent nature I'm sure your friend would agree. A Gith Yankee is as likely to forsake its violent nature as a gnome is to fly. Don't fucking drag me into this, into your fucking eugenics, all right? Violence is taught, not inherited. You don't need to steal a child to know that. You've been sipping from the same goblet as the society. Perhaps you'd be willing to help them, to prove your point. They may have chased me away, but surely the... It's cool, it's for sight. I don't think so. <laughs> and once inside, you could simply purloin an egg. I'm not robbing a child. You're one of Gith's own. I will slit your throat for even suggesting it. I fucking met you two minutes ago. I'm just, uh, don't speak to my woman like that, excuse me. Compensated, of course. Just bring me an egg. I'll bring you a fuck all. Is this a lie? I want payment up front. Will Lazelle not like that because she'll think I'm being serious? Or will we just kill her? Dave, that'll be evil as well. We'll just kill her, murder. Give in to the dark urge for a little bit in the name of good. That's a nice, uh. Whatchamacallit? Compromise, huh? <laughs> it's not nice because it is murder of somebody we met two minutes ago. Convinced? I 
was right about you beasts. It was me who said it, you fucking bitch. Charm. Twenty-one. Yikes.